Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your second week of July general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. So, disclaimer, I don't care about the artist. I'm just telling you the song that I heard. The song that I heard was Be Careful by R. Kelly and Sparkle. I will leave the link to the song in the description box so you can listen to it um, following your reading if you so choose to. So here's the thing that I picked up majorly. Somebody that you were dealing with in the past, somebody who broke your heart, I mean completely shattered your heart, the player has now been played. And I feel like now that they know how that hurt feels, they're going to come back to you with an apology. Because I'm going to tell you, in this, in this deck, multiple times I've seen the Seven of Swords and the Magician. I feel like your person could have left you for a Earth sign, Virgo specifically, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or they could have left you during Gemini season and you found out about some cheating and manipulation during Gemini season. And you were completely heartbroken and shattered about this situation. Um, they, they're finding out, if they haven't already, they're finding out that what they did to you, this person has already been doing to them in the door. Right? That's the message that I'm picking up for that, um, the overlying energy. So we're going to part the deck get a different card at the bottom and of course as always both of the decks are completely upright so for your main energy deck absolutely i said this person definitely was possibly dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising venus individual also for some of you guys you possibly cut this person off during gemini season if you look at this card look at her face she's not very happy to have to have made that decision but she knew it needed to happen because you found out some things about this person and you really had to boss up and push your feelings to the side and cut this person off. It could be vice versa. This, you know, somebody could have possibly had to cut you off. But it's a strong energy about something happening during Gemini season. Some secrets were found out. As we parted, so you can see there are no reversals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Yep. You got two of cups right next to the four of cups. Somebody sad and sorrowful about some situation. about a situation that they found out about some third party situation and this was somebody who was in a relationship. You also could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The next card that I see peeking out, peeking out is the Empress. I always tell you guys when the Empress is present, the Emperor is never too far behind. This is somebody that you had a great deal of history with. You may have lived with this individual. You guys have history years in together. Also, the Empress is one half of a divine counterpart, a spouse. You may have been talking about marriage with this person, long-term commitment, and then you found out about some third-party situation. Three of Cups, like I said, there was some third-party situation. And for some of you guys, if it didn't happen during Gemini season, it may have happened at the very beginning of Cancer season, this season that we're currently in, because keep in mind, we just seen a lot of water energy, right? At the bottom of your, <laughs> at the bottom of your clarifying deck, you got the Hermit card again. I said I seen a um, magician, that's Virgo, and then Hermit is Virgo. So this person could have definitely been dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual, or this person, your person could have been a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Major Arcana. This person is finally seeing the error of their ways. You see how he has the lantern looking towards the future? This person is finally seeing what it was that they did. He has his hood on, his cloak, his head is down. This person is going through some things, some heartbreak, some sorrow. Could even be depressed right now. I'm, I'm saying that because you got this grayish color, like a dull, like lifeless, like oralist. This person could be very depressed right now. I'm definitely getting the player has been played vibes. As we part the deck, yeah. <laughs> I feel like during Leo season, this person's going to come back. And I do see right here, look, right before that, Five of Pentacles, Earth sign again. Towards Virgo Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This per Ooh, and remember I said this person... They they left you for somebody else. They were entertaining somebody else. Again, possibly a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But there's there's something else with this also. I feel like they were cheating on you and you found out about it. You walked away from them. And didn't I say 
once they found out about once they find out or found out about this other person doing them the same way they did you they're gonna come chasing up behind you again and it could possibly happen during leo season which is a couple weeks from now and look what else is peeking out because look i see this right here yep leo season you got two cards of leo some card they want a brand new star with you you could have it could have involved a pregnancy also for some of you guys it's not gonna be all but you could have heard about a possible pregnancy you could also be pregnant but i'm gonna tell you right now you got this horse riding towards this queen of wands this person is going to come back very passionately trying to express to you that they want a new start. The sun is always about a new start, a brighter day, brand new path. Because they're definitely coming towards you. But I always say with this card also, look at that. You have a cat right here. There's mysteries, there's secrets, and it's right in front of this um, queen of wands. So this person could also be a Leo Sag Aries. But I feel like more so, you know, a Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Because you got two cards of Leo back to back. This person is going to try to come back. And if this person doesn't have strong Leo placements in their chart, with us having two Leo energies, it's a guarantee that something's going to go down during Leo season. More wine energy. Huh. This person wants you to be patient with them. They want you to just hold on because they want to offer you this Ten of Cups and they want wish Look at that judgment card peeking out. Wish fulfillment. All this major arcana. Yeah, and this, you know, this all of this that I just parted so far was major arcana. So this is a big shift. This person wants a major change after they've done some horrible things. They see you as their life partner. Four of Wands. They see you as someone that they want to marry and that makes plenty of good sense because we just seen the Empress card. Like, I feel like what I'm picking up, honestly, is during Leo season, this person's going to try to come back and ask you to marry them. Or they're going to propose. Something's going to happen. I, literally, you had nothing but back-to-back -back major arcana energy. That's a major shift, major change. Keep in mind, we just had a full moon eclipse July 5th. And so a lot of things were being eclipsed out of people's lives. You may eclipse that person out of your life, you know, with that queen of swords. You may have cut this person out of your life. But this person isn't going to go sitting down. They're going to come back as we part the deck so that we can shuffle. Absolutely. They're going to tell you they want long term with you. Ace of Pentacles, stable foundation, moving forward. Look how this path is winding directly towards this Ace of Pentacles. That's something solid, long term. And you see how the flowers are coming down? It makes me think about a backyard garden wedding. I'm telling you, this person's going to come back and they're going to tell you that they want marriage. I feel like for some of you all, you will be receptive of it. For a lot of you all, you will not. <laughs> As I said, for a lot of you all, you will not. You're going to cut them down. I always tell you guys, swords up in cards, that's yes, sword down, that's no. This person, you feel like you've been through enough battles with them. Because anytime you have a knight, this is someone who's ready to go to war. They're either ready to go to war or they've been through something that feels like a war. Head to toe in armor. This person is guarded, defensive. It's coming in reverse. And swords is always about communication and the mental. So when this person comes in trying to win you over, because I feel like they're going to come in like a knight in shining armor. Like they want to offer you this long-term stability. You're going to cut this person off again like that Queen of Swords. Like, nope. No, thank you. I'll pass. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. No, thank you. Like, I feel like, some, <laughs> I feel like somebody's going to be smug. Some of you guys, you're definitely dealing with Earth sign. Some of you guys, Earth sign. Some of you guys, Air sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, I feel like during, again, you know, during Gemini season, I really feel like there was, a you know, some massive changes that happen in the, in the dynamic of that relationship so we're going to get two cards one is going to be a general energy and the second is going to be a possible outcome if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual they definitely want you back they see you as their life partner and again remember I kept seeing a strong energy a strong energy of Gemini something happening with Gemini season this person could be a Gemini too but the lovers card is the card of Gemini this is also the card of making decisions and choices and you see how he's facing the direction of the lover's card? This person is going to feel like, okay, I've made my choice. I want to be with you. And it's, I'm almost getting like a little arrogance. Look at how he's looking. Because I feel like this person also feels like you're always going to be theirs. And they feel like they can come back to you anytime they want to. I am picking it up also. But I do feel like this person definitely has love for you. But they really messed up. Just seeing the Eight of Cups. Yeah, lover's card. Reverse. This relationship definitely could have fell apart during Gemini season. And then also, the, again, this is a card of making a choice as far as love. I feel like a lot of you all are choosing not to um, reconcile with this individual. So let's get a general energy. They all flip down, so I'm going to keep shuffling. General energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. 
general energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Yeah, this person is like <laughs> two of wands in reverse. Two of wands upright is somebody needing to make a decision. You and this person could definitely possibly be at a distance. You see the globe there. If not a physical distance, definitely an emotional distance because he's looking out towards the water there. Water always denotes something in regards to emotions and feelings. This person knew they needed to make a decision. And of course, he's holding on two wands. I feel like this person in reverse, they chose the wrong person. Because a choice was definitely made because they have one behind them and they have their hand on another. A choice was definitely made. I'm also being drawn to this bird in the sky. Birds is an air sign element. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I feel like, I'm sorry, I'm looking out the window like, who is this by my car? So I feel like, you know, this person may have chose the air sign over you or during Gemini season, again, air energy. During Gemini season, this person chose another person over you or you found out about this other person. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, they're going to come back in telling you that they still have feelings for you. They love you still. A very emotional offer. Pouring out their heart to you. Cancer season, right? We are in cancer season. I feel like towards the end of cancer season, this person is going to come back. Let's get a possible outcome for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals. You know, you're a water sign, so this could be you also, but I feel like you may be dealing with someone who has water sign placements in their chart or just like i said during cancer season this person is going to come back and i'm feeling like it's towards the end because if you notice the horse was in motion <laughs> the horse was in motion so they're coming towards you the tower card yeah a definitely uh, definitely an unexpected shift you weren't expecting this person to entertain other people and this person wasn't expecting you to cut them off major arcana so again scorpio energy like yourself and aries energy so I feel like this was really heartbreaking to you, really devastating to you. Because look at the devastation that's taking place. You have a tornado coming through right here. The building's on fire. It's just like every element that could come through has come through. Everything has come crashing down around you and this person regarding the situation. Let's hold the deck down for your possible outcome deck and get an additional message. Yep. Again, I mean, this is our second time seeing this, so I know that this is very relevant. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm also hearing that for some of you guys, something happened. Something went down during Taurus season of this year. Um, in, um, what is that? In April, towards the end of April. Also, the beginning to mid-May, something happened. In regards to this relationship with you, yeah. Because look at that, you got five pentacles. So, during May, yeah. During May, Taurus season, going into Gemini season. I kept picking up Gemini energy. Taurus season, going into Gemini season, you could have separated from this person. And again, you walked away and this person is chasing you. They definitely want to come back. Ask me part the deck so that we can shuffle, but you like, nope. Sword up, yes, sword down, no, yes, you are going to continue to cut this person off. Look at how he's looking stoic and in control. That's the powerful thing about your energy, Scorpio, because you are coming up as you are in control of the situation. This person is going to try to come back to you, and you're going to cut them off at the knees. So let's get a clarifier for two of wands and the tower card. Yeah, there were too many secrets. And then, like I said, could have been third party. Even though these are not humans, you have one, two, three entities, energies here. There were things that are hidden and you found out about it. In reverse, again, no, this person was not communicating with you and telling you the truth about it. This person was entertaining multiple people. They were entertaining multiple people and you found out about it. The moon card of right is about things unseen, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. It's coming up in reverse. You found out about the situation. You were heartbroken about it because keep in mind the five of cups, that's sorrow, sadness, heaviness. Because again, one, two, three cups, he's facing this three of cups there was third party situation so you scorpio cups this is your energy you are heartbroken about it because the two of cups behind him you just knew that the two of you all would be long-term companions life partners and then you found out about this three of cups third party situation and it caught you off guard because you felt I, what i'm picking up is that you all you really felt like you guys were happy so you're like well, why would you need to cheat on me i thought we were happy i keep hearing that like somebody saying i thought we were happy i thought everything was fine between us yeah, too much sword energy. They were deaf. Something definitely happened during Gemini season. Or you could have, something could have happened with an air sign. They could have cheated on you with an air sign. This person could also be an air sign. Yep. Yeah. This person was entertaining multiple people. 
I feel like with the, because this is in a current energy, the Knight of Swords, I feel like this person is going to come back hastily, quickly, because I feel like they're scared that you're going to move on is what I'm picking up. Ha. They feel like you're going to move on. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man card. This person is comfortable and abundant in their singlehood. They're not worried about anybody. They're not stressed out. They're finally at a place where they feel grounded. Pentacles feeling grounded. After all of that that's going on, you guys are finally feeling grounded and securing yourself. No longer allowing that heartbreak to consume you. Let's get a clarify for the two of wands for Scorpio, Summer, Rise, and Venus individuals. I'm also hearing that some of you guys can have some um, fire sign placements in your chart. Okay. Ooh. The hangman upright. Absolutely. Absolutely. Two of wands being clarified by the hangman upright. You guys, I just said that. You guys, when I seen the nine of pentacles, you guys are no longer hanging in limbo waiting for this person to act right. You're not even thinking about this person anymore for a great deal of you all. After this person has finally decided, you know what, I want to be back with you. Because look how he's facing the hangman. This is watery energy also, Pisces. Even though you are a cancer, I mean, Scorpio, yeah, still watery energy. No longer hanging in limbo, waiting for this person to act right. No longer waiting for this person to come back towards you. And remember I said earlier, some of you guys have fire sign placements in your chart. You see how he's standing on this wand, you know. Some of you guys definitely have water sign placements in your chart. Somebody's first, middle, or last initial could be T. I'm looking at that because you see how this wand, and I never say that with this card. You see how that wand turns into that T, yeah, that post that is on. Hmm. Some of you guys are definitely finally letting go of this person. And the moment that you let go of this individual, now they want to come back. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I also feel like, like I was saying, I feel like strongly also, this person is fearful of you moving on to someone else. Because you're no longer showing that you're worried about them. You're enlightened at this point. Because look how you see the halo around their head. You finally shook that funk. That's what I'm hearing. You're no longer stressed out about the situation. And they're, they're fearful that you're going to move on with someone else. They, I'm also hearing something about them seeing you flirting or somebody flirting with you in comments on social media if that applies to you. And that's really got them worked up. That's why we've seen that Knight of Swords. Like, they really finna come communicate with you because they don't want somebody else to scoop you up. Let's get a clarifier for the Tower. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Look at that. So all these cards are down, but look what's flipped up. Yep. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person is going to tell you that they're no longer entertaining other people. They're no longer lying, cheating, being deceptive. Um, hmm. With the Tower card in reverse, it's, they're definitely ready to pour out their heart. Right up under that, they flipped out was the King of Cups. Right? In reverse. So this person, that, that male or female, it doesn't matter. This person is emotional and they're heartbroken over you. Because the King of Cups in reverse is someone who's heartbroken. They're sad. They're not very happy. They're emotionally unbalanced because something in their life has made them feel insecure, unfit, something to that nature, right? You have the tower card clarified by the seven of swords in reverse. I said earlier, this person was lying to you about entertaining multiple options. And they're going to, they, I feel like they're still going to come in and tell you that they, they weren't entertaining this person or they're done entertaining this person, but the damage has been done. The damage has been done and you all are walking away from this individual. You have a completely different perspective on life now. Because keep in mind, this is upright. You weren't seeing things clearly. But in reverse, now you're seeing things for what they truly are. You've had a great sense of enlightenment. They're no longer pulling the wool over your eyes. No longer. You have utter and clear clarity. Truths have come out. Again, swords about communication and the mental truths have come out about this situation. And you see it for what it is. Every single card out of your four card spread is in reverse, except for the tower card. That's how I know for some of you guys, just like the, what has been done is done. And there's not going to be a reconciliation. Although this person is definitely going to come in and seek one, is what I'm picking up. Okay? So, yeah, ooh, and definitely, yeah. Because, like I said, the tower card is Scorpio, also Aries. Most definitely. And remember I was saying some of you guys may have some fire sign placements in your chart, particularly Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.